I'm Leah McWilliams, and you're watching DEP News. This is the third year of the Green Infrastructure Grant Program, and in total we have awarded more than $10 million to 30 different organizations. These partners will uh, build projects to help manage more than 15 million gallons of stormwater every year. Commissioner Strickland announced on the rooftop of the former Pfizer Inc. building in Brooklyn that 12 community-based stormwater management projects have been chosen to receive $4.7 million through the 2013 Green Infrastructure Grant Program. The Pfizer rooftop will be the future home to a 26,550 square foot green roof. DEP recently completed green infrastructure projects in Bushwick, Brooklyn that will improve water quality in Newtown Creek. 19 bioswells, which are curbside gardens that are specifically designed to collect and absorb stormwater from the street and sidewalk, were installed along Grove Street between Goodwin Place and Wilson Avenue. This neighborhood demonstration area will beautify the neighborhood and provide valuable data about the reduction in combined sewer overflows from green infrastructure. Later this year, we are going to begin installing hundreds more bioswales throughout the Newtown Creek drainage area. It's one of the water bodies we know needs help. And while this project directly affects sewer overflows into Newtown Creek, we've already installed more than 100 bioswales in other parts of the city that will improve other local waterways, with hundreds more to come this year and thousands more over the next five years. This installation is part of the wider goal of making green infrastructure an important component for reducing the city's combined sewer overflows into local waterways, which will improve the ecological health and cleanliness of New York City Harbor water. DEP announced the completion of a 2,400 square foot green roof and garden funded in part by DEP's Green Infrastructure Grant Program. These green roofs are part um, of the city's grant program. We have issued $11 billion in grants um, and we um, anticipate a program that ultimately will be $2.4 billion strong. This multi-purpose space located on the roof of the Lenox Hill Neighborhood House on East 70th Street in Manhattan will be used to provide hands-on educational, recreational, and therapeutic programming for the nonprofit's clients. In addition, the specially designed gardens and landscaping will absorb and store more than 4,500 gallons of stormwater each time it rains, keeping it out of the combined sewer system and helping to make the East River and New York Harbor healthier. The green roof will also help clean the air and reduce the building's heating and cooling costs. Local Cub Scouts and students joined Commissioner Strickland and other officials to take a daily count of juvenile glass seals. The continuing build-out of city sewer system and wetland areas has improved water quality and led to an increase in habitat for eels and other species. Hey, three cheers for the DEP! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! That's what I'm talking about! That's it for this edition of DEP News. Thanks for watching.